We would drive down this really, really crazy steep hill. The road was closed. <laughs> Today we are sharing about a much shorter vlog video from our trips to Hawaii because we don't have that much footage, but it was such an amazing experience. We were so proud of our kids that we couldn't not share it. Yeah, it was definitely a story that we will carry with us for the rest of our lives. It was a real pivotal moment in what we believed our kids could and could not do. We were on our way with my sister who was already living in Hawaii for months and she was like, hey, there is this hike. It is the most beautiful sight of all the things I've seen in Hawaii. We have to do it. I was like, I really don't want to do something that challenging. But she was like, I promise it's really not that challenging. So we were like, okay, let's do it. So we drive all the way, probably at least an hour plus. At least, yeah. We get there. And unfortunately, it was closed. Our backup plan was about 45 minutes. So we're like, well, what are we going to do? We're going to have lunch. And then we're going for a backup plan. So we pull up to the Waimea Valley and we're at the visitor center parking, getting out, taking photos, getting videos. This was like a very scenic, beautiful, beautiful valley slash ocean view and we were super excited to experience it. The plan was, because we had a 4x4 vehicle, we would drive down this really, really crazy steep hill, which you have to have a 4x4 to do, but guess what? The road was closed. You can't make this up. It was closed for like the next three years. Under construction because of decay and like you could not drive that. You could not drive there. I was prepared to walk. You couldn't walk. You it. couldn't walk. So we're like, oh my word, this is how much flexibility you have to be willing to have when you're traveling. So we're like, back up plan number three, because we truly had like oh, three yeah. plans for that day. We're like, okay, there's another 30 minute drive. We can go to Palulu Valley which is another beautiful black sea and beach. So we're like, okay, we'll do that. Cause we didn't drive at this point, two hours to do nothing. No way. So we finally get there. And as we're getting there, <laughs> I'm seeing how steep it is to get down to the valley. And there was a beautiful lookout view. And I was just thinking, fly your drone. Yeah. We came for the sights. This is beautiful, let's go. But my sister was like, no. We drove all the way out here and I was like, I know, but I have a two month old in the carrier. We got little kids. That looks like quite the hike. They're like, okay, let's go. So we hike down. We're less than 50 feet into the hike, less than 50 feet. And there's a grown man who wasn't out of shape coming up, huffing and puffing, and he said, good luck, you may want to reconsider. The reason it was intensive is because it's so steep, you can't just walk. You have to like <clears throat> stop at every big old boulder rock. And so we're going slowly and it's not so bad, but remember what goes down must, must go up. back up. And we're going down with five kids. So we work our way down. I would say it probably took like 30 to 40 minutes, which Easily. is not that bad. We finally get to the bottom. <laughs> There was a beautiful beach. There was a river, the valley. You're seeing everything. And we're like, okay, it's not so bad.
getting beautiful sights. The kids are playing and running, playing with my sister and her husband. And about 20 minutes in, torrential. Like, we start feeling rain. rain. Yeah. And Hawaii is known for weather changes abruptly. It was sunny and bright. All of a sudden, big gray cloud. Yeah. And we're like, we're in a storm. And there's no shelter. There's absolutely no shelter. Nowhere to go. We have five kids all the way at the bottom of this crazy hike. And now we have to get back up. Yeah, it was pouring so hard and water is literally actually flowing down the trail now that we have to go back up. So now you have to be more cautious and you're going upwards, which is already harder. So as I'm down there, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit upset because I was like, I didn't wanna come down. I didn't wanna come down. And now we made it, it was worth it, it was fun. For but sure. now we're soaked in the, way, in the rain with five kids and it's like, if it's just you and me, I will deal, right? But when you have your kids being like, I'm cold, I'm wet, wet yeah. it makes it so much harder. So it was a silent trip back up. Oh, it was a silent trip Everyone back is just focused one step at a time. We're out of breath. We are tired. It never feels that bad until you're doing every strip oh, sure. and you're stopping in between. We finally work our way back up. The kids make it to the top. They're running. They're happy. They did most of it by For themselves. Sure. We Jason, were so proud of them. Yeah, Jason and Lena were like, bouncing off the boulders up. I don't know how they had that much energy, but they were literally running up. Lucas broke his sandal, I don't know if you remember this. Broke his sandal, so I had to carry him on my back with all my gear. I covered him with my jacket, so I'm getting wet. He's covered with the jacket, staying dry. It was quite the experience. And in the moment, it wasn't that enjoyable, but once we made it back to the top, it's like you forget. It's a moment of victory, right? You made it to the top and we're like, okay, we, we conquered this intense hike with five kids and people were coming up and being like, wow, you guys really did that. And we're like, that's us. Yes, <laughs> we in fact did. And it was really rewarding. And I remember being like, you know what? Kids can hike, kids can walk, kids can adventure. Like they might be struggle a little bit cause they're little, but honestly they did better than we did in some aspects. So we were so proud. And it was just such a reminder that you can travel with kids. They can really do they can a handle whole it. lot. They, if you challenge them and you give them the opportunity, because we could have just said, we're not doing this, we're yeah. leaving, and we would have never known. And after that, we pretty much, every hike that we've done since, For we're sure. like, we did Palula Valley. We can like, do this. we can do this. <laughs> and they did not, they don't remember it being traumatizing, they just remember it being amazing. Afterwards, we left, we stopped at a smoothie place, and everyone got smoothies as a reward. And it so was perfect. just, it's actually really funny exciting memory for us that we always share about like you can do anything with five kids it's like we did this and as someone who's often anxious about how the kids will behave out in public or what they can actually handle it was a slap in the face in a way to me and a reminder that your kids can handle what you give them but if you don't give them opportunities to grow and become confident in those experiences, then yeah, the first couple times are gonna be hard, but if you give them those experiences, they will be able to do it. And I just feel like our kids really, they, at this stage, they don't think that there's anything that they can't do. They no. really have done so many different hikes and walks and adventures that when we present with one like, hey, we might have to walk a bit, they're like, let's go. And we're like, okay. okay. Let your kids adventure. Give them the time. We did take yes. probably two or three times longer than had we just been the two of us, but we got to experience that as a family with our kids. They have those memories and so do we. Also, that was not our first hike, so we do not recommend doing that as <laughs> no. our first. Our kids are capable of so much, and we've been learning that as we grow as parents, as we grow with our kids. We underestimate them a lot, and we're trying not to do that anymore. Give them opportunities to show us up. Let them surprise you. To surprise us. Very closing out. And here is a little yeah. Hawaii montage. B roll. subscribe and follow for more yes. and stay tuned with our travels. Bye!